we're going to practice saying a word slowly, saying get ready, and give the signal. Here's one step from the Say the Sounds exercise as it would appear in the teacher presentation book. Remember, what you say is in red and what you do is in black. Notice that you pause for emphasis just as you did in the pronunciation exercise. I'll show you how to present this step. Watch how I keep my hand in a closed fist near my mouth as in the pronunciation format. For this Say the Sound step, I don't put my fingers up as I say the word slowly. I only put my fingers up after I say, get ready. Watch, Lu Chen will be the student. Say, ran, get ready. Fine, now you be the teacher with me, and Lu Chen will answer as the student. You're going to follow the script here, but when you teach your children, as you recall, the book will be in your lap, like mine. On this step, don't put your fingers up until after you say get ready. I'll start, and you will too, when I say go. All right? Go. Say. Ran. Get ready. Good. Again, go. Say. Ran. Get ready. Good. One more time. Let's teach that again. Go. Say, ran, get, get ready. ready, good, all right, let's try another word now. We're going to say slowly the word soap, all right, when I say go, we'll be the teachers, everybody get your hands up ready, and you will too be the teacher, all right, go. Say, say so, so. Let's try that step again. Remember, you have to say each sound three seconds. Go. Say, so. Get, get ready. So. Again, go. Say. So, oops, I did it the wrong way My, myself. Okay, you are better teachers than I am. Let's try that again, everybody. When I say go, let's start teaching Luchin. Here we go. Go. Say. So. Get ready. So. Good. Let's do that again. Teach him again. Go. Say. Soap. Get, Get ready. ready. Soap. Excellent. Good teaching, too. That was a good signal. Let's try the next word. Now we're going to say nice slowly, and that goes like this. Nice. All right. Here we go. When I say go, everybody have your fingers up or your fist up. Go. Say nice. Get ready. Nice. Good. Let's do it again. Go. Say. Nice. Get ready. Nice. Great. Make sure you don't rush the children by holding up each finger for too short a time. Watch what happens. I'll be the teacher and you try to respond. Say, man. Get ready. Man. Yeah, that was pretty hard. Remember, you have to hold up each finger for three seconds each for each continuous sound. Another problem is created when teachers don't give clear signals. I'll be the teacher, and this will be my group of students. Watch. Say, nose.
Get ready. Mm-hmm. Notice that Mary stopped between the sounds because of the way I signaled. It would be difficult for anyone to know when to start or stop each sound when a sloppy signal is given. Now I'll demonstrate how to maintain a quick pace when presenting a chain of steps. I'll be the teacher, you, all of you, be the students. Say, ran, get ready. Ran. Again, get ready. Ran. Again, get ready. Ran. Good. Notice that my pacing was brisk but not rushed on saying the sounds or signaling for each sound. These three steps must be briskly connected or chained. If you hesitate and leave a big time gap between these related steps, the students may forget the word they're saying slowly. As in the pronunciation format, as soon as you say, get ready, your eyes should be on the children so that as you're signaling, you're monitoring their eyes and their mouths. Open your Reading Mastery 1 Teacher's Guide to page 19 and find step C of the Say the Sounds format. Read step C through K. Now with three or four other people as your students, practice being a teacher on step C through K. Each of you should practice as the teacher until you feel rather comfortable chaining together the three steps for presenting each word the students will say slowly, and you should be monitoring their responses. The people being the students should not make errors during this practice session, and you shouldn't go beyond step K yet. <laughs>